Taking your first REO listing? Come on inside. After your initial inspection, once you know that the property is vacant, the first thing I do, I do three different things. The first walkthrough is recon. So I'm gonna come through the house and just take a look, make sure that we don't have any squatters, make sure we don't have anybody um, unnecessarily in this property with when they shouldn't be in this property. Um, we also wanna make sure there's nothing living in here, no snakes, no animals, no raccoons, no dogs, you just, you just never know what you're gonna walk into in some of these properties. So we're gonna just quickly scout this property, make sure we don't come across anybody or anything. Can be a little dicey sometimes. Normally we do this in teams. Um, and also many times I'll have uh, some sort of protection, whether I'm armed with, uh, with something or some kind of mace or spray of some sort. Because again, you just don't know what you're walking into at some of these. We got a garage door open, could be a little sketch. Hello? Also got an attic up here, attic is opened up. All right, doesn't look like there's anything or anybody living in this property, that's a good thing. So again, the first thing, first step, when you take an REO listing is recon. You, you wanna make sure that you go through the property, make sure it's safe and, and secure. Um, we've come across plenty of times, different squatters and so forth over the years. The second walkthrough, we wanna make sure that the property is overall safe. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few things that I'm gonna point out to you that we probably would have to get done on this property before going live, uh, active on the market. And also we're gonna look for any kind of simple repairs that we could do um, for, for contractors to come out to make it into a more sellable condition. A lot of times the banks, they don't wanna have anything to do with any kind of renovations in most cases. So we'll just look for any kind of simple stuff. Um, but let me show you some of the things that I observed. The biggest thing is this pool. Now you got two major flaws right here. For one thing, you got this door right here. This door is wide open, so any little kid can come in here and drown in the swimming pool. And as you can see down here, there's no longer a fence over there that'll protect or keep anybody out. So if you look, I can just walk right into this pool area. If I'm a little kid, and I can fall right into this. So in this scenario, you really have two different options. Number one would be to build a platform over this pool so nobody can you know, fall into it, no little kids can fall into it and drown. Um, and the second option, which I'd probably prefer because it looks like this pool could be put back into working order fairly easy. I mean, there's no crazy cracks or leaks. Um, is to secure these doors, secure the fencing, and so forth. The second thing that I would probably talk the bank into doing is maybe throwing down carpet in the bedrooms. As you can see, there is no carpet in the bedrooms. We do have tile in the wet or main areas. There's tile in this big room over here. No carpet. So I would talk to the asset manager in this case and try to talk them into putting carpet. It's only two bedrooms, so it'd probably be maybe, maybe 400 bucks to get car carpet laid in both of these bedrooms. The reason why, why I would wanna do that 
is because um, it's going to be more favorable for financing. So many lenders are not going to finance any any anybody, especially like FHA and so forth, um, where it's not completely 100% livable. So if the bank decides to drop, say three four hundred bucks on some carpet, we should be able to open up to a larger pool. Of, uh, of buyers. That's assuming we can get this pool in working order. Also, I'm always constantly looking around to see if there's any broken windows. Uh, if there are, we have to replace the windows or at least board them up. Um, everything looks pretty tight and secure here, but there's no broken glass, no major hazards. So, um, you know, it, it should be pretty safe for people to come through. But if there's any anything major where um, there's any kind of glass and where anybody could get hurt, then uh, we'd want to have somebody come out and do a uh, some sort of trash out. The pool does have some, um, if you take a look, it does have some issues with the pavers, with some uh, some sinking a little bit. So that could be a, a, a hazard for um, people walking around the pool. So the pool guy is gonna have to take a serious look at that. That could be a, a cause of a leak as well, which would be no good. Now we've had some REO properties, some REO listings where um, these properties were in such bad shape where the roof's caving in, there's heavy, heavy mold, and it's almost beyond repair. So in those circumstances, we would actually have a, this would be attached to the supplements in the MLS, and a, a waiver where the uh, buyer's agent as well as the buyer both have to sign off on this document before assessing the property. And it's a waiver and release of liability to the bank. These properties are so in such in disrepair, some are even teardowns, but the bank's not gonna uh, assume the liability for people going into these properties. And also, um, you know, they're in such bad shape that, you know, where do you start in terms of making it safer and so forth. So a lot of times they just have, you know, roofs that caved in and heavy, heavy mold and it's just a health ha hazard at the end of the day. And now the third thing that I do on every REO listing and any listing in general is I'm gonna go through it thoroughly and figure out really the sales features of the property. Um, I wanna, you know, really point out all the good things as well as the bad things because I want to make sure that I comp the property correctly. You know, if we don't value this thing correctly when, he, when we go live and also when we report back to the asset manager and uh, if we price it too high, the asset manager is not going to be happy about it if we're not getting, you know, an offer in a timely manner. So we do want to make sure that it's priced correctly, not too high and obviously not too low where the bank loses out on, on equity and on the property. So with this property, hopefully we can get this pool up into working order so i'm going to go ahead and suggest that we get that fixed up throw the carpet down the bedrooms um, they do have the brick patio out here which is really nice um, another good feature about this property is larger bedrooms and um, you know big open wide open space in your living kitchen area which a lot of people like in florida having um, you know, all, all open space in, in their uh, main main area, kitchen going into your living area. Um, overall, together, this property is in fairly decent shape. It, it's got some things working for it, some things that do attract or detract from the sale. Um, I don't know if you can see back there, but we're, this basically butts up the commercial real estate. So that is a, a, a detraction from, uh, from value right there. So we do have to make note of that. Um, because that is going to have an effect on ultimately our pool buyers and who's going to be interested in buying this thing. And guys, be sure if you haven't checked it out already, I'll leave a, a link for the, uh, the clip that we did on how to list and sell REO properties in your local market. So you're going to want to check out that clip. I'll uh, put a link there for you as well. Um, if you have any questions pertaining to listing and selling uh, REO properties, give a holler, comment down below, and I'll do my best to uh, answer the questions in a timely manner and uh, as always if you got any anything good out of this video or of any others go ahead subscribe i have more videos coming at you more specifically also on uh, reo foreclosure listings so uh, go ahead subscribe hit the bell notification and you'll be notified every time we have a new video coming at you i appreciate the support thanks a lot